Hello, I'm Caroline Chilton. I'm principal of the Neely Traditional Academy. Neely is a part of the Gilbert Public School System, but we provide an alternative education for parents within the school district and those beyond the school boundaries. Those parents that choose Neely for their education can apply through an application process that begins Labor Day for the following school year. At Neely, we follow a traditional back to basic curriculum instruction model, including Spalding Phonics and Saxon Math, but also including the other curriculum strands under the Arizona State Standards. Teachers place a high focus on basic skills through direct instruction, and the curriculum is rigorous, with high student expectations that require extensive parent involvement. Spalding is an integrated language arts program that combines spelling, writing, and reading. It's a phonics-based program that is multi-sensory, whereas the students are able to hear words, see words, sound words, and write words. And we know that by interconnecting all those different aspects of the brain, they're able to hold on to and access information more readily and efficiently. The second component is the reading instruction. It's divided into three strands. You have the literary appreciation, we have text structure, and then we have the comprehension aspect. In the literary appreciation, students are modeled uh, quality literature. They learn the attributes of that, and teachers model fluency and inflection in their reading. When it comes to text structure, students are taught the different elements of what literature contains. They learn author's purpose and the way that authors organize their information. And that then translates into the writing component so that they can apply those same skills into their own writing. And then finally, there's the reading comprehension. Students not only learn to listen to develop comprehension skills, but then they apply those skills in their own reading. The Spalding method works really well with kindergarten. The children focus on the first 45 phonograms out of the 70, and the first 45 phonograms will actually allow a child to read because it covers most of the sounds that they will encounter in books up until first grade or perhaps even farther. We have very high expectations. Our children are writing sentences. Quite early in the school year, we start reading the first few weeks of school, and they really enjoy it. What's 15 plus 1? 16. Madison? 16. I put my 1's digit down, 6. What do I do with the 10's digit? Our Saxon Math program is one of the most important parts of what we do here. Saxon Math is kind of a spiraled education. Instead of the students learning about one concept and working on that for a few weeks, moving on to a new concept, we introduce a new concept most every day. And with that comes practice in the previous concepts that we've done. So you get the spiraling as we pick up each piece that we taught earlier. It's really important also that the students have the opportunity to repeat information and use that throughout the program so that they retain the information that they learn. Another great thing about Saxon math is we get about, at least in the sixth grade, we get about 10 story problems a day, which gives relevance to what the students are doing, and it puts math into a real life situation. The sixth graders in the advanced math class are doing the Saxon 8 7 book, which means they are covering seventh and eighth grade math topics. So the advanced math classes are working anywhere from one to two years ahead of where their grade levels should be. Even the general classes are working 
a year ahead of their own level. The sixth grade math class is working on the SACS in 7-6, so they are doing sixth grade math topics and seventh grade math topics. And that sets apart Neely. Even in the classroom, they're working at an advanced level. We have a special program, and it's called Advanced Writing. In the Advanced Writing class, which is grades four through six, students receive 65 minutes of writing instruction daily. We focus on writing, different types of writing, the six traits of writing, and a special emphasis is put on grammar that is used directly into their writing to make their writing stronger. The six traits of writing are very important in writing instruction. The six traits are ideas, organization, voice, word choice, sentence fluency, and conventions. And we add a seventh trait, which is presentation, where I expect them to turn in work that they are proud of. We call ourselves successful thinkers in advanced writing, and successful thinkers are students who are willing to work, students who are willing to suffer through confusion and frustration, students who are willing to face limitations and overcome obstacles, and students who are open to the views of others, and we're proud of being successful thinkers. At Science Time, the children have an opportunity to meet together and work in groups of two and four and um, utilize their um, skills as team members. The teachers also require a very high level of writing for the students. They utilize a science notebook to write down their observations, to write down their data, and we do require that they use proper grammar, um, that they write in complete sentences. The result is to have a uh, uh, scientific document that the students can have ownership in. The reading program at Neely is made up of three components. First, our Spalding Phonics program. Second, our Treasures Reading program. And third, the Accelerated Reading program, or AR. As a school librarian, I help to ensure the quality of the AR program. During library classes, we explore a variety of different genres. I order quality literature to ensure that each student is able to find and read books that interest him or her. We are proud of our little homey library with our large collection of books. I love to share my love of reading to help each child find that just right book. My goal is to make each child a lifelong reader. Instruction at Neely is fast paced and we attempt to increase instructional time by restricting interruptions such as fundraisers, birthday parties, extended recess time, or assemblies. Due to the rigorous fast pace of the instruction, high parental involvement is expected in order to ensure that students complete their homework and that they are encouraged and supported in their success. Neely has experienced a high level of success since the school opened, and we attribute that success not only to the excellent teachers, staff, parent involvement, and excellent programs, but also a high level of consistency from one classroom to the next and throughout the calendar year. Our teachers work really close together, which means that as we work closer together, the students work together. We plan together, which means that every day, say in fifth grade, which is the grade I teach, the students have the chance to all learn the same thing regardless of which classroom they're in. All the students sit facing forward, facing the teacher who is the center the center of their attention, the director, the one who leads the educational process. We have lots of opportunities outside of that to work with groups, but most of our core learning comes teacher-centered. In the traditional method, students are required to have homework. We do homework four days a week. The homework shouldn't be extensive, but it is something to reinforce what the students have learned during the day. Traditional also often means that the students have parents that choose our curriculum and choose the school we go to. With that being said, we get students who are eager to learn and our classroom disruptions are at a minimal. We have a pride sheet in the upper grades from the fourth, fifth, and sixth grades, which is very similar to what they do in junior high, so that when they get into junior high, that transition is a little bit easier. The pride sheet allows uh, communication between the parents and the teacher. Students write down their assignments, they write down their homework so that the parents know what they should be doing. Neely offers a wide range of extracurricular activities, such as before school band and strings, after school chorus, and walk and jog run club. In PE, just like in the classroom, the goal is to focus on basic skills 
that build upon themselves throughout the students' years at Neely Traditional Academy to promote lifetime fitness habits. We follow the Pangrazi model, which is a 30-minute lesson broken down into four separate parts. Establishing positive fitness habits at the elementary level will hopefully lead to quality fitness habits throughout adulthood. As the students are working on activities such as rock climbing, soccer, and juggling, they are also learning valuable skills such as decision making, teamwork, self-control, and responsibility. When the students continue on to junior high, we want them to leave Neely with a positive feeling about PE and looking forward to their next fitness endeavor. Uh, Neely is the school that I've chosen to teach at. I've taught at other traditional schools, but this is the one I appreciate the most. One of the biggest reasons is that it's district-backed. We have the great Gilbert Public Schools, which helps us, and I get a lot of training as a teacher that I can use to become a better teacher for my students. The other thing that I love about Neely, we have great parents, a great PTO. We have lots of volunteers and people who just want to help and be a part of what we do because they believe in it. As every teacher on this campus, we each believe in Neely Traditional Academy. I truly have enjoyed raising funds for our school. Here at Neely, we're a little bit different. We do not do the traditional fundraising. All of our fundraising is actually event oriented. We do no door-to-door -door sales. We really depend and rely a lot on our families here at Neely and the community, but we have great events. We have a fall picnic, a spring carnival. We have kids night out, which is highly successful. We have our dining out nights. Um, we had a back to school bash, which was a wonderful success. We just really encourage family here at Neely and it's just a great place to be. Over the years, I have had the privilege and opportunity, the pleasure and the fun of spending time on campus as a parent volunteer. I see firsthand why this school consistently gets high academic marks, why students love to come to the library and devour books, and why parents make the sacrifice and give up the convenience of their neighborhood school. It's the teachers. They're the center of our school. The teachers work in teams and they play off of each other's strengths. They meet regularly and evaluate your students' academic needs and make the necessary course corrections. They genuinely care about and inspire our children to succeed. Neely is the community that will set the standard and build the foundation for the years of learning that lie ahead for our children. Thank you.